Oh, jeez. What's up guys, welcome to the channel, and today we're gonna kinda be winging it. If you guys have seen a ton of ads like I have recently on YouTube for this top coat F11 stuff, you might have been curious like I have to see if it really lives up to the claims that they make. My uh, goal for today is just to test all those claims to see if they're actually accurate. What I'm gonna do is end up taping the hood right in the middle on both cars, and then we're gonna apply this stuff just to one side each, and then we'll pull it back out here in the sun and compare each side to see if we can see a difference just with one application. If you can see here on my truck, there's a lot of swirls. It just is kind of dull in the clear coat and really hasn't been taken care of as good as it should have. And then we have the paint on my BMW here, and this paint is in really good condition. And we're gonna see if this Top Coat F11 offers any benefit to either of these and just how much. So today, we're gonna put it to the test. So let me show you what this stuff came with for $65. Now don't forget guys, this is the third of four giveaways that we're gonna be doing in a row on the channel. How these giveaways are done is I put an Amazon code on the screen somewhere randomly in the video. If you're the first one to see that code, go to amazon.com and redeem that code as fast as possible. And if you're the first, you're gonna be the winner. If you're seeing this a little late and you wanna be the winner in the next one, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and that you hit the notification bell so that you'll be one of the first to be notified when the next upload is up. One thing that bugs me so much is when people film cleaning videos for products like this, and it's supposed to show like how good of a sealer it is, and they're just cleaning a dirty car, obviously it's gonna look better if you're just wiping off a bunch of dirt from the before and after. So I think it's better to start with a clean car. That's what we've done. I've just finished cleaning both of my vehicles. The paint's nice and clean. And actually, speaking of applying this stuff, we cannot apply it in the sun. This product works well when you apply it in the shade. So one at a time, we're gonna pull the truck and the BMW into the storage unit and see just what happens. Topcoat says to apply the F11 when the paint is ambient temperature. So we're gonna give this a few minutes for the paint to ooh, not be so hot, and then we'll get this stuff applied. So after reading all the benefits that F11 is supposed to offer you, here's what I'm hoping that it will do to my truck and hopefully your car if you're looking for these benefits too. First of all, obviously the paint. They say that the F11 helps to fill in all the little micro cracks and crevices of your paint to smooth it out and give it a super glossy finish. Maybe even it'll help get rid of some of the smaller swirls that I have in my paint. Second, my headlights. I've restored these once before but they're starting to get cloudy again and F11 is supposed to be a sealer that helps protect against the sun. So maybe it'll help keep these things shiny so I don't have to keep fixing them over and over. They say that you can put this F11 on everything from the plastic to chrome to your paint and obviously your wheels and things like that. I'm not gonna worry about my wheels because these things are already pretty freaking screwed and pretty much beyond any type of saving. But the rest of that stuff is what I'm hoping to get taken care of. So let's find out if any of that stuff is actually gonna happen or not. So now it's time to apply. And we have two towels because one of them is gonna be a wet towel and one of them is gonna be a dry towel. Basically when you spray the F11 on the car, you use the wet towel to uh, dis uh, disperse the product around on the car and then use the dry towel to buff it off. Now in all of his videos that the, the guys from Top Coat have made, they say that you don't really need to spray that much. I found that kind of the worst condition that your paint is in, the more you're gonna have to spray. see there's a little bit of a haze so it's kind of easy to tell where you've applied it and where you have it and also if you've buffed it all off yet so here's my dry towel and there you can see it's nice and shiny now you see a lot of people advertising their products do the whole bottle slide on the hood test thing check this out so this is the coated side this is the non coated side if I set the bottle down and let go even if I try to push it it doesn't really go anywhere then I put it on the side with the F11, it slides across, first of all, way easier. Look at this, I can push it up and it just comes right back down. If I set it down and let it go, it slides down the hood, no problem. I don't even know if that's saying anything, but at least it's kind of fun to try. <laughs> what about all these faded plastics that you end up getting? That's pretty much on every car, no matter what you've got. These kind of things are always a little frustrating to me because it kind of seems like no matter what product you use, Within about a week or so, it ends up looking dry and faded like it did before. Let's find out what happens with F11. Oh my 
my gosh. That feels so much smoother, just like it did on the paint. Before, after. Here's one more plastic to try out right here on my OEM mud flaps. And I don't know what you're seeing, <laughs> but this looks a lot better to me too. The last one that I want to show you, just because, listen to this. That plastic is super coarse. I'm gonna try to see if it will help to darken the door handles. Before, after. So I've decided that I'm gonna go ahead and tape these off half and half too, and then we'll take a look once this gets in the sun and see if it really helped to clear the lenses too. Just like on the hood, how we did the right side, I'm gonna do the right side on these lights. At this point, I think I've gone and pretty much done everything that I'm gonna do to this truck. Now remember, everything on the right hand side is what I have done, everything on the left, I haven't. So now it's time for the moment of truth where we pull this thing out into the sunlight and see how it actually has affected the car. Look at that glossy finish. <laughs> oh my gosh, right away I can tell the biggest difference is right here on the grill on this plastic. <laughs> Look at where I pull off the tape here. On the right hand side, it's obviously dark. This is the treated side with F11. Here on the left, not so treated. This feels nice and smooth, and this still feels, you can hear the difference. Sticky and rough. Oh yeah. Pretty cool. Okay, let's move on to the headlights. These, I didn't really see that big of a difference. Let's pull this off. Oh, now that I pull it off. Yeah, you can see a line there for sure. Okay, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but right along here, there's a definite line where the headlight is darker, way smoother, and just looks shinier. So, that's a little benefit. It's not, obviously not like a huge difference, but yeah, still there. Now for the big part, let's pull off the tape on the hood. Oh, wow, jeez. <laughs> Again, man, I just really can't tell how well it's gonna come off across on the camera. Oh my gosh, okay. I'll try to point it out for you. So, right here, there's the line. Goes across the hood here. This right hand side is definitely a deeper, darker red. And the right hand side is still, well, obviously just not as deep and dark. This side feels a lot more glossy. This side feels not so much. Now as far as the paint swirls go, I do think that it has made the right hand side not look as swirly. The left hand side, I can see them quite a bit easier. And especially now that I have this thing out in the sun, goodness gracious, the, all the plastic that I treated looks so much better. The mirrors, the door handles, my mud flaps down here. Everything just looks so much better, even the glass. <laughs> just for the heck of it, I saw uh, one of the guys that made a video talk about they've even used it for sunglasses. These things were old and scratched. One of the things that F11 is supposed to do is, gosh, I gotta put these back on, it's so bright, is fill in a lot of the cracks and crevices that you have on any surface to make it glossier and smoother. So I applied it to my sunglasses, and I know that I didn't film the beginning and after for you guys, but just take my word that these things look a lot better, almost like they're new, and a lot of little hairline scratches in them are gone. Who knew? Another big thing to think about when you're talking about value and if a product is worth it, is how much of this stuff do you have to use to do this entire truck? I did all of it, from all the glass to all the paint, the mirrors, everything that you see on the exterior, and look at how much is left on it. You see that? So obviously more of it's gonna come down on the top because it's thinner, but I barely used any of this and I did my entire truck. So that's pretty cool. I think I can say that it seems like it took out about five to six years of sun damage off of this thing And as awesome as that is and as awesome as this looks I'm most excited to try it on the BMW because I freaking love this car I'm gonna keep it forever I'm never gonna sell it and I'm highly interested in keeping it in good condition and keeping the paint looking awesome and keeping it easy to clean It's supposed to be hydrophobic. It's supposed to repel dirt and crap and check this stuff out, too. I have some residue here from doing burnouts. That 
that's one thing that I can say for sure is not going to stop. It sticks to the paint, it sucks to take off, and hopefully after putting F11 on it, it will help things like that, as well as dirt, to stay off of the car. I think it's about time we wrap things up and get a final verdict here about what I think of the whole process and the product itself, obviously. Let's peel this tape off the hood and see if we can tell a difference at all from the F11. So visually, when I'm bouncing my eyes off of the light of the hood, I really don't see much of a difference with the naked eye. And honestly, I didn't really expect to see much of a difference just because the paint was pretty much perfect to begin with. What I'm more interested in is how much protection the paint's gonna have. Yeah, obviously it's smoother on that side than this side. Whoa, way smoother. Feels like it's gonna protect it a lot better. And the biggest difference that I actually saw with this car is I was kind of curious and I put it on this plastic trim here. And remember guys, this car is a 1999. This thing is 18 years old. And this plastic looks brand freaking new. It should not look like this. I mean, compare it with the stuff that I didn't treat back here. And you can see it's a lot whiter and faded, just does not look as good. So kind of in closing, guys, keep in mind that these impressions that I have are just first impressions. I have not had this stuff used on the car for a long time. This is just the first day of me trying it, the first time I ever bought it. And my impressions are gonna be initially very good. I feel like it's gonna protect the cars really well. It does make whether it's the colors or the plastics look a lot newer, look a lot deeper. Everything just feels smoother like you just waxed the car and it was way easier than waxing. I'm gonna be really curious once we hit some storms, once these things have some time to spend it in the dirt and get a bunch of dust and crap all over them and see how easy they clean and wash off and just how good this dark, deep look stays. With how little product you actually use and the outcome that you get from using it with how easy it was, I would certainly recommend trying out Top Coat F11 for yourself. Oh my gosh, that looks sick. I hope that that helped answer some questions that you guys might have about F11 and if it's worth the high cost, if you should try it yourself. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you guys don't miss an episode and I will see you in the next one. Make sure to hit that notif- oh my gosh. Notification bell as well as a subscribe. Oh my gosh, the notification bell sh